Well, what's not so great is that hurricane season is not over yet. Yeah, New 6 meteorologist David Nazario is taking a look at the tropics and pinpointing the area with the greatest chance of seeing one last push of tropical activity. I'm News 6 meteorologist David Nazario coming at you this afternoon with a bit of a update on the tropics as we get towards the extreme tail end of the hurricane season. It looks like we are in for what could be the grand finale of the 2024 tropical Atlantic hurricane season, and it all starts with the Madden Julian oscillation. If you didn't catch Jonathan Kagus and myself's previous article regarding the MJO, an eastward moving area of just disturbed weather and rising motion particularly closest to the tropics, we are expecting one last big push right around the Halloween night time frame into the first two weeks of November. So as you can see here, we have a little bit of a graphic breaking it down on one side of the MJO as it moves off towards the east. We're going to have dry air and sinking air. Pay no attention to the infrared satellite shot in the background. As you can see, the stormy portion of the MJO is currently back over the Pacific, and you can see we have a pretty large tropical cyclone already getting excited, getting its act together, and it is expected to track off towards the west northwest as the MJO moves from this phase to the east into the Gulf of Mexico and particularly the Caribbean, we're going to see the same type of phenomena, that rising motion, the aggressive nature of the atmosphere destabilizing for all intents and purposes occurring closer to home, where I do think we're going to have one last bout of potential tropical activity as we work our way closer to Halloween in the first half of November. Moving right along here, you can see we have the favorable conditions are going to be available for tropical activity down here, particularly for the Caribbean. Alongside just aiding in rising motions, getting the air to rise up to the highest point in the atmosphere where weather is observed, the MJO also helps to focus and clump together a lot of mid to upper level moisture in the environment that's good for tropical activity. Tropical cyclones love that type of stuff, and it also helps to reduce wind shear. Wind shear has actually been encompassing much of the Gulf of Mexico, sweeping down into the Western Caribbean as a result of that fall front that we felt here in our neck of the woods in Orlando, as far as south as Miami, the Keys getting into Cuba, where Oscar currently is positioned over eastern Cuba. That same front and wind shear is going to help to ricochet that feature back up towards the northeast, away from our viewing area, and then we can turn our attention down to this area of interest that we'll be keeping an eye on you, keeping an eye on on it for you at the pinpoint weather team here at news six. Last but not least, I love this graphic here. These are going to be our tropical probabilities brought to us by the European ensembles. This is a colorful blend of all the individual members from that computer model. There's 51 members and as a result where these colors start to really glow, you can see down here as we roll through next week. If you look at the timestamp, this is the following Thursday, not this Thursday, the following Thursday sometime in the morning, the European ensemble members are all coming into agreement with these shades of green, getting into the yellows, the lighter yellows, focusing in on the southern and western Caribbean. And what that tells us in the weather center here is the models are starting to gain confidence that yes, this will likely be the next hot spot, which has been a favorable environment much of this hurricane season. We've seen a number of named storms either passing through the Caribbean or forming up. One of the more notable ones being Major Hurricane Helene that made landfall back at the very end of September, early October in the Big Bend area of our neck of the woods. So it goes without saying, please check out that story. Follow us at News 6. We'll be coming at you with the digital and the broadcast information that you need to keep you ahead of this grand finale the final hoorah of the 2024 hurricane season. Mm. All right. Good well, riddance. I right? know. Yeah. Beat it, nerd.